Hello, my name is Christy Kaludi. I'm the principal of Northwest Primary School and Pierpoint Personalized Learning Center. We are here today to start a new series for Rutland City Public Schools called the RCPS Learning Lounge. So each month we will be chatting with staff, students, and people who have a connection in Rutland City Public Schools. And we will gain further insight on all of our schools and the community. Today we've decided to interview some new administra administrators in Rutland Cities. So I will have them introduce um, themselves and we'll get to know them. Hi, I'm Rob Becker. I'm the principal of Rutland Middle School. Hello there, I'm Justine Ruland, principal of Northeast Primary. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Ryder and I'm an assistant principal at Rutland Intermediate School. Great, so we'll get started. So maybe you can take a little bit of time to tell us um, a little bit about you both personally and professionally. Great, so um, from a personal standpoint, um, uh, my wife Cindy and I have three boys. Andy is 31 and he's a doctor in Tampa, Florida. Um, John is a uh, engineer for Lockheed Martin. He's 28, um, lives in Denver, Colorado. And my youngest is Joshua, who is also an engineer. He's an electrical engineer at Lockheed Martin in Denver. Uh, my two youngest children live with each other, which has to be an interesting situation. <laughs> um, so. Um, Personally, uh, from, from a professional standpoint, I've spent most of my professional career in the state of Wisconsin. I've been both elementary, middle school, and high school principals. I've been an associate, uh, associate professor at a university, also the University of Wisconsin. Um, I took a little time and went to China. I worked for three years in China as a principal of a 6th through 12th grade school, um, American curriculum. And then I, my last three years, I was in Saudi Arabia. And I was the head of school in Saudi Arabia at a school with about 1,400 students. Uh, again, a, an American curriculum, uh, three different buildings. I had seven principals that worked for me there. So uh, it was a very interesting place to be and, and uh, live, but I am very much enjoying uh, living here in Rutland. Um, the, the, Beauty around me is incredible. Um, I'm watching for those trees to really change colors. Great, thank you. Justine. I'd be happy to, Christy. Um, I was born and raised in Southern Maine, um, so just across the way. It's great to be here in Vermont. I love having returned to New England. Um, prior to moving to Vermont, I was living and working on the Rosebud Reservation in South Dakota, where I was a high school teacher, and then eventually an administrator at a tribal school um, there working with students 6 through 12. Um, during the pandemic, as our world was turned upside down, I wanted to reconnect with my family and return to my New England roots. So my husband and I moved to Rutland right in the middle of the craziness of 2020 that summer. Um, and I took on the role of being assistant principal at Rutland Intermediate School. I, have, I was serving as the assistant principal for the last three years, um, working with students in grades three through six, and now I'm in my first year as principal at Northeast Primary. I'm really excited to be there. It's a wonderful school community. Um, in my personal time, I enjoy cooking and traveling. I love to practice yoga and do lots of reading and spend time with my husband and our dog, Pearl. Nice. Great. Let's see. I was born and raised here in Rutland um, and went through the Rutland City Public Schools. Um, I live locally with my husband and two young children um, who keep me very busy and we love to ski um, and be outside. Um, professionally, I graduated college and returned to Rutland City and started working at Rutland Intermediate School as a special educator. I also spent some time as a third grade classroom teacher and literacy interventionist. Um, I then took an opportunity to go um, to another local school um, to be a literacy interventionist and coach um, and learned a lot there where I then worked as a literacy coordinator for that supervisory union. Um, and I have now come back to Rutland City um, to be an assistant principal at the intermediate school. Great, thank you. All right, so just some personal questions. Tell us about your first memory of school. Like, we want school to be, you know, such a memorable experience. Tell me about your first memory of school. So, so my first memory, I, I was born in the state of Texas, and um, I lived in a, a little place on the Gulf Coast. It was named Ganado, Texas. 
they didn't have kindergarten at the school that I was at uh, until the year that I was supposed to go to kindergarten. So <laughs> I was in their very first kindergarten class ever. It was all day, every day kindergarten. And um, I, my biggest memory is that uh, there was nap time in the afternoon <laughs> and I was not a napper. And I remember my teacher, Miss DeVore, um, she used to walk around with a yardstick and she would <laughs> swat kids and she broke that yardstick over my rear end because I was not sleeping. <laughs> so I hope that our kindergartens aren't like that here. They do not <laughs> sleep. <laughs> yeah. No sleeping in kindergarten. No. <laughs> or or, or, or <laughs> yardsticks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, in, in Texas to this day, I think they have uh, corporal punishment where um, they, they can spank kids if they want to. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's my, that's my most vivid memory. <laughs> wow. <laughs> A little different than mine. <laughs> um, I feel so fortunate. I have so many positive memories of my early childhood experience. Um, but one that really stands out for me is our school-wide talent shows. And I have some really joyful memories of performing with my two younger sisters in the talent show. And every year we would do a skit. So we did a lot of improv. There was pies in the face. There were all sorts of really fun skits that we would work on with my mom practicing in the kitchen to perform for the whole school. So those are some really fun. happy, fun memories for me. I have lots of positive early memories in education. Um, many of them started before I was even old enough to be in school. Um, I spent a lot of time in the schools ahead of that. Um, and I had a wonderful second grade teacher, Mrs. DeLong, and I remember a lot about that year. Um, but one of the memories that really stands out is from third grade with Mrs. Fenning. Uh, we studied Canada geese. And to this day, every time I see or hear Canada geese, I think of her. Wow, that's <laughs> good. <Connections. laughs> All right, so you told us a little bit, but maybe you can further expand on why you came to Rutland City. Especially, you came here from Wisconsin. How did you pick Vermont and Rutland? Yeah, yeah. So I, I was actually in Saudi Arabia when I found this job. And, uh, you know, uh, Rutland had posted the position on a, a nationwide search. And um, I, I saw it and I thought, oh, Vermont, interesting. Um, I like to travel, obviously. Um, and at that point in my life, I had been to 48 out of the 50 states. And um, so I, I would ask everyone, where do you think the other two states are? You know, and everyone would guess Hawaii. And I'd say, nope, I've been to Hawaii. And they'd say Alaska. And I said, yep, you're right. There's one. Now what's the other one? And no one would ever guess it, but it was Vermont. I had never been to Vermont before. I had traveled the, the Atlantic seaboard, but Vermont doesn't have any coastline on the Atlantic Ocean. So uh, had missed Vermont. Um, but so, you know, I was a little bit interested just because it was Vermont. So I, I went on Google and I put in Rutland, Vermont, and boom, up pops Killington. <laughs> and I've been a skier and snowboarder all of my life, ever since I was uh, just a little kid. Um, my parents didn't ski and snowboard. Actually, when, when I was about six years old, um, my parents took me to the ski hill and just dropped me off and left. And I taught myself how to ski as a little guy. And, uh, you know, as a middle school kid, I subscribed to every ski magazine you could subscribe to. And, you know, one of the people that would advertise in those magazines was Killington. So when Killington popped up on my search, I went, oh, cool, <laughs> you know, Killington, and started to really look at what is this place? And, you know, the, the chance to, to hike and mountain bike and ski and uh, the beautiful landscape here, the, the rolling hills that some people call mountains. Um, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's really a beautiful place. And it, it just the, the, the nature around here is what really captivated me to start talking to the people of Rutland. But, but then once I started to meet the people, the interview teams, um, that's what really convinced me to come here. Nice. I remember when I uh, first met you and you were t talking about your experiences and I was thinking, boy, we have so much in common. I've lived in Vermont my whole life. I've moved once and I've never skied. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Justine. Can you restate the question? Of course. Thank you. Why did you come to Rutland City? Yes. So, um, as I shared earlier, I was at a point in my life, the whole world was at a point in our lives of what is going on and I was really considering my life direction and what I wanted to do next. Um, and so I was exploring options and 
in having conversations with my husband about returning to New England to be closer to my family who are still in Maine. Um, and when I think about Vermont, it's a place where I truly feel that I can live out my values. Um, you know, we joke about the land of Bernie Sanders and Ben and Jerry's ice cream, but this is a place where I truly feel that the things that I care about um, and the community that I care about, I, you know, feel that that shows up in my work and with amongst the community that I live in. And so um, I think where I was living in South Dakota was very rural, very remote, remote very beautiful part of the country. But now living in a small city, I have the amenities of a city, multiple grocery stores, that's very new for me, and a <laughs> farmer's market and a co-op, um, and the wonderful access to the great outdoors just minutes from my doorstep. So it's a great place to, to have moved to. Great. I came back home after college for my very first job. Um, that's how I landed back here. Um, and I'm lucky enough to have lots of family here, um, which helps to keep me around as mm -hmm, well. Sure. Um, I am a big skier um, also, and I feel very spoiled to have Pico 15 minutes away, and that's hard, to, certainly hard to give up. Um, but more importantly, um, I was looking to give back to a community that had given so much to me um, and shaped me into the person that I am now. So I'm glad to be back. Awesome. So what accomplishments fills you with pride so far this year? You know, um, it's been a whirlwind for me, and uh, you can imagine I moved directly here from Saudi Arabia uh, with two suitcases. And, um, you know, finding, finding a place to live was very, very difficult. Um, I'm, I'm moving today to a permanent apartment, but I've lived two different places. Um, so this will be my third place in just three months. Um, so housing, housing in Rutland has been a, a really a big challenge for me. And, uh, and I, I'm proud that I finally have a place to live permanently. Um, but, um, you know, from a school standpoint, when, when you come to a new school in a new state um, and in uh, a city that you don't know, there's a lot of learning that needs to happen. And so, you know, I'm, I'm on a constant learning adventure, um, trying to talk to as many people as I can, uh, learning the culture of Rutland, learning the culture of Rutland Middle School, um, but, but also just connecting with all of the people that are a part of our community. It's a big community, even though um, we only have 238 kids, something like that. Um, but, but so many people are involved in our school and every day I meet someone new and, and add to that, that web of community that we have supporting our students. So um, I, I think my biggest accomplishment at this point is just creating my web of, of support. Um, and uh, I feel really good about where we're going with Rutland Middle School and, and uh, I'm looking forward to spending more time here. Good, great. My greatest accomplishment so far this year is something that I actually can't take credit for. It's um, all of the teachers and counselors and paraprofessionals and service providers in our building that are doing an incredible amount of work. I feel so fortunate to be joining a team of, of teachers with decades of teaching experience, with counselors, with lots of mental health um, backgrounds. Um, with staff who are committed and dedicated to our children, and I just feel so proud that I get to belong to that team at Northeast. Nice. I've enjoyed spending time building relationships with the staff at the intermediate school and getting to know everybody. It is quite a large staff. Um, and then spending time with students um, and getting to know them and what um, they love about the intermediate school and what things we might be able to help them with. Um, and and learning the, the supports that are around in the, in the area, both for me and for students. Great. All right, personal question. What, or it could be professional, I guess. What are your must-have <coughs> smartphone apps? And why? <laughs> well, you don't have to tell us why, but what are the apps you like to use on your phone? So I, I, have, um, I have two of them that I like to use. Um, one is Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't know where That's I'm going awesome. half the time, you know. And uh, even coming here for uh, yeah. Peg TV today, I, you know, if somebody had just said it, it's behind the house center, I would have gone, oh, okay, I know how yeah, to get there. Yeah. But no one told me that, you know. So I looked it up on Google Maps and I was trying to navigate here and it took me way longer than it should have because it took me through all kinds of neighborhoods and 
I don't know. So yeah, Google Maps is a lot of fun, and it's always interesting because my phone has kind of intermittent um, connectivity, you know. Yeah, it, especially it, in Vermont. It, yeah, it's not been so good. So uh, yeah, just navigating here has been fun. But the other thing, I, I really like to hike, and uh, so I've got all trails, yeah. and um, I like to any any time I even go for a walk, I, I turn on all trails and. Um, uh, a couple of my my boys, the ones that live in Colorado, they also like to hike. They're um, they're typically hiking 14ers. They like to climb the the peaks that are over 14,000 feet. And so I'll climb to the top of Killington and say, "Hey, I'm on the top of a fourer." <laughs> You know, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, I save all my uh, I save all my hikes, and, and usually I send them off to my kids, and, and we'll go through it. We'll we'll look at the hiking rate and the, the altitude gained and all all that Great. kind of stuff. We're kind of geeks about that thing. So um, so yeah, all trails is yeah. really cool. Great. I also love Google Maps. Really anything Google related I have on my phone, whether it's the to do list app, Gmail, Google Classroom, Google Drive. I think I have everything on there. Google Hangouts. Um, but I'm a big foodie, and I love trying new restaurants and trying new dishes, and so I love Open Table, the app that helps you figure out which restaurants have availability and what time, and you can search and uh, filter on what kind of food you're in the mood for. So. Nice. I have to say, my favorite app right now is Amazon Photos. <clears throat> um, I take tons of pictures of my little ones. Um, and I really enjoy that it um, takes you back like this photo on this day a couple years ago. Yeah. And so I'm able to go back and watch the girls grow. Yeah. Um, and it's amazing how, how quickly they change. <laughs> Time goes by so fast, for sure. <laughs> what would the students be surprised to find out about you? I've, I've been thinking about this a lot. You know, I've, I've got all kinds of useless, goofy things that I could, I could say, you know. But um, one I think that is, is kind of fun <laughs> is that... Uh, I was once on the cover of Sports Illustrated magazine, and you know, Whoa. and so when kids hear that, they go, "Oh, what did you?" They're going to Google it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they won't find anything if they Google it because um, the the cover was um, they were doing a, a news story on an NFL football player, uh, Ahmad Rashad was his name. He played for the Minnesota Vikings, and uh, my high school was selected to to march a halftime at a Packer game. And, you know, from Wisconsin, of course, mm -hmm. I'm a Packer fan. Go and pack, so, you know, right before <laughs> halftime, uh, our band was all lined up on the sideline, ready to go in, ready to start our, our march in. And it just so happened that this player, Ahmad Rashad, dove for a football. And Sports Illustrated got a picture of him diving for oh, it. Cool. And I was just beyond the football. So yeah. when, when you look at the thing, everyone's <laughs> focused on Ahmad Rashad, of course, you know. But in the background, you see me in my... Band uniform with a big fuzzy hat and all of that <laughs> stuff, you know, and you kind of had to know who was standing where to be able to tell it was me. So no one's ever going <laughs> to figure out that I, I was there, but I can, I can go to the front of that cover, and it was probably 1981, um, and I can show you exactly where I was on that. So um, that's, that's my little claim to fame, right? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I live with a very big Packer Badger fan, and I Ooh. myself am a Badger. That's Fantastic. where I did my master's degree. Wow. Um, one thing that I think my students would be surprised to learn about me is that um, I'm, I can figure skate and that later this year we will be going skating as a school and Ms. Mm. Rulin will, will do some jumps and some spins wow. for them. So more to come. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we'll bring the cameras with yeah, us. Oh, great. Yeah. Take this show on the road. <laughs> um, something that students might be surprised to know about me is maybe my athletic background. Um, I was an alpine ski racer um, and on the state championship ski team for the high school. Nice. Um, on my 17th birthday, we won the state championship um, many years ago. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> I am not very tall, um, but I was a defender on our lacrosse team. Um, so I was probably one of the smaller ones there. And I also for a year was a field hockey goalie. Oh. <laughs> Don't mess with you. <laughs> I looked very small in those big field hockey pads. <laughs> All right, so this wraps up our, our program for Rutland City. Uh, any final thoughts you guys want to say? I do have a final question, but I'm going to give you your final thoughts first. <laughs> I appreciate you having me on. Yeah, thank, this thank is you. great. I, you great know, first show. I love it. Look forward to getting to know the, the community yeah. of Rutland more, so this is an opportunity. Thank you, guys. I yeah. know when I first called, it was a little nerve-wracking, you know, like, mm -hmm. hey, but it, 
it's great. It's fun, just casual. We want the community to get to know us and the great mm -hmm. work we're doing. So thank you guys. Thank you. All right, one final question before we go. This is going to be so easy. But in case anybody in the audience wants to send you something like as a little thank you or whatever, favorite candy bar? <laughs> See, I said it was going to be easy. <laughs> Well, I like so many of them. I know. What am I going to say for my favorite? Question. Well, because I bet you're going to get a bunch of them in the mail. Oh, <laughs> I, you know, M and M's. I'm going to say, uh, and one of the reasons I like them is there's so many different kinds. There's almond ones. There's pretzel ones. There's crunchy ones. What's your favorite? There's peanut ones. Um, the I really like the pretzels. Are really good. <laughs> yep. So good. I like the almond ones too, but I never see them. You know, but but uh, yeah, I'm going to say M and M's. Nice. That is a very tough question. Ooh, I thought it was going to be so easy. <sighs> I think I'm going to go with the Toblerone bar. Ooh. Those are delicious. Wait, can you, what is it? The Toblerone? It's like Ausgezeichnet. a Yeah. It's from Germany. I've never Auf heard Deutschland. Of it. <laughs> oh, do we have those in Rutland? We do have them. Okay. We do have them. Okay. We do have them. Um, they're little triangles and they break off and they've got nougat and chocolate oh. and honey. Very mm. delicious. Maybe mm. you'll get one in the mail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really like um, peanut butter cups and almond yeah. joys. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. All right. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching Rutland City Public Schools. We're going to call this the Learning Lounge. That's what we're called. Thank you. <laughs>